What's up everybody and welcome back to another math puzzle. In this one, the question is as follows. Find the missing digits A and B where A and B are different digits. Hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. So we want to remember the definition of a digit. That's anything like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we're already limited to those 10 options. Now we can see that B times A is A, which has some limitations, meaning it limits our choices in certain ways. Like for example, one of those numbers could be one and the other one could be whatever. Now we know that B times A ends in an A, right? But that doesn't give us a ton of conclusive information. I wanna look for the spot where I can draw the most specific conclusion possible. Well, check out the second line. When we multiply the second row here is the product of A multiplying this way, this way, and this way, which means that A times A ends in an A. The only two numbers where you multiply against themselves end in themselves is five and six because five times five is 25, six times six is 36. Now also down here, we have another clue about B. So if you check it out, it says six plus seven equals B. Now six plus seven could be 13, but there theoretically could be a carry from the previous column of addition, which means B could be three or four. But since we know this top digit here is zero, we know that zero plus A cannot have a carry, even if A is nine. This means that we definitively know that B has to equal three. Since B is definitely three, let's revisit B times A. So B times A ends in an A. Well, check it out. If B were three and A is six, three times six is 18. That means that A would be eight, but we know A can't be eight in this case, we chose six. But if A were five, three times five is 15, which means we would get A occurring again. This therefore means that A cannot be six, it has to be five. So there's your solution. A is five, B is three, boom, done. I hope you enjoyed this math puzzle, and if you did, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.